Alright, welcome back to the channel and the build of my bat van. Uh, I got a little bit done since uh, last time you saw me and we'll give you a shot of all that and uh, everything that I used, explain how I put it together and then we'll move forward. So uh, I've got a little bit of finished work that I need to get done so that's what I'm going to do today and probably install some handles uh, on the uh, cabinets up above and I'll show you those too and all the items that I used uh, for this build will be in the description below. Uh, they're from Amazon. I'm an Amazon affiliate. Go figure. Uh, so check out those links if you're interested in any of the items that I use for this build and yeah, maybe you can use them in yours. Alright, so without any further ado, let me show you what I have got accomplished. So I have installed the platform for my bed and uh, like I said we have some finish work here on our wood that we're going to go ahead and stain, get some polyurethane on there on both sides and that's what it looks like. And the lighting is atrocious <laughs> to say the least. We'll take another shot from the inside and uh, show you how I put this thing together. There, that's a little better. So, first thing I had done is I purchased these cross members here. I purchased four, but I'm only using three. These are the Scorva brand, uh, usually from Ikea for their bed setup. But they work good in uh, van conversions. And these are fastened on the wall with attachments that uh, you also have to purchase separately. So I got plenty of those. They are fastened into the wall with, uh, I think, inch and a half by 10 or 12. And they're in there pretty solid. And then for the uh, base itself, I used half inch plywood and I uh, put carpeting over that top and bottom. So we have a, whenever, if you look under here, it's gonna look nice. And then, uh, Obviously, some 1x6 railing here on the ends. And I left it up about an inch and three quarters. Uh, so when I put the mattress in, obviously things aren't going to move. And with this carpeting in here, it is not going to move at all. Alright, so I've got things temporarily fastened in place. We're going to go ahead and remove the screws. Get our uh, wood sanded down. We'll go ahead and apply our stain. And get some polyurethane on it. Then while all that's drying, then we'll go ahead and attach our handles. So let me show you uh, the handles that I selected. So stashed up in here in my, one of my cabinets are the handles that I selected. And to no surprise, those are the handles that I uh, chose for my van. And I think those are going to look pretty cool for, uh, for my cabinetry. Yes, I think that uh, will suit very well. You can let me know what you think. <laughs> and uh, But I think it's going to look pretty cool. We'll put one, obviously, on each cabinet. Uh, and then uh, we can call those finished. And then once all of our railing is finished for the bedding, uh, I do have a mattress coming. It should be here oh, in a few days. And... We have one more cabinet to build. We'll get that one fabbed up uh, probably today, maybe tomorrow, start on that and finish it out. And then we can start on our furniture that we're going to have in place. And got me a big old box here. That'll be a future surprise. So let's get, uh, let's get some woodwork done. All right, so the stain that I am going to use. So I first started out with a provincial on pine and it looked pretty dark so I didn't really care too much for that then I went over to red chestnut on pine and it was a little bit better but still a little darker than I thought I would want and so I switched over to a Puritan uh, pine so a Puritan looks pretty good it's a it's a lighter color this is the original 
pine what it looks like without any stain and so we are just a shade darker than that which is what I uh, am gonna use I like the looks of that and I think it will give a nice contrast when it's all in place furniture and yep the overall warminess of it if warminess is a word okay so let's uh, pull these out sand them up and get these stain on it so I'm using a Minwax pre-stain and uh, hopefully that will eliminate any of the dark spots that you'll see in the wood so each stain soaked in a little different and on this lighter color you see that grain so I'm hoping to minimize that if it shows through oh well so we're gonna go ahead and uh, brush that on get it uh, set we'll wipe it off and then we can start applying stain so they recommend brushing this on or using a rag letting it set 5 or 15 minutes wipe it off with a rag and then within two hours apply your stain so time is ticking let's go Okay, now that our stain is on, we're going to go ahead and use a polyurethane water base. And uh, it's recommended three coats, two hours in between each drying time. So, I'm going to go ahead and crack this open, stir it up, and start brushing it on.
angle, so on each of the cabinets, I uh, found the center line and I came up about an inch and three quarters. That's where I'm going to place my handles. So I've got my drill bit and uh, ready to start drilling some holes. I think I'm going to lay down a piece of cardboard here to keep all the little wood shavings from dropping. And then I'll drill some holes. We'll get these handles installed. It's going to look cool. Perfect. Alright, five more to go. Alright, so the cool part. Let's go ahead and install some handles on this and see how well they turn out. We're just going to run the screw in here, twist this on down as far as we can get it, and then we'll tighten it up from behind. Sweet. Nice. And I adjusted all the cabinets so they're all the same height on down. So let's go ahead and put the rest of these on. Easy. And I think they look pretty good on the cabinets if I say so myself. Yep. Work like a charm too. Better than trying to pry up here because <clears throat> these latches are pretty strong and I don't have them adjusted. I got them adjusted as the lightest setting, so if I turn them in a little bit more, it'll keep things from uh, really falling out. Alright, so I'm pleased with that. That part is finished. Okay, let's go check on our wood. So everything is uh, just about dry, I think. About ready for another coat. It's looking good. It's got that nice sheen to it that I like. Oh yeah. So we'll put a light sand on these and then we'll uh, put another coat, let it dry, and then I think we're about ready to uh, install those and be ready for the mattress. All right, so I got this back in place, lined up a couple of holes, fastened it a uh, couple down, and I am using a number eight by one and a quarter brass wood screw, and that's going to hold it in place. And I'm snugging those up nice. Because my two end screws here are behind these pillars, I'm going to have to use a different tool. I'll show you what it is. Alright, because uh, I can't get my drill back here because of the uh, van wall here, so we are going to use something a little different. I've got my little flexi Bessie here. So this is going to uh, work out really nice. Pop my bit in this steel. This will just bend right around what I need. And 
that's all it takes. So, one more screw to put in and then we'll get the uh, front part on. Alright, so to finish off my little holes that I've got here, I've got some little 3 8 inch round head plugs. So we'll just set those in there and uh, we'll get, get them tapped in place. And then I'll have to come back a little later and just dab a little bit of polyurethane on that. But I think that's going to look nice. So now we'll just take a little wooden mallet and gently tap those in there and because I do, uh, you know, if I ever need to take these out, I don't want to glue these in. So we're just going to tap them in there and hopefully never have to take them out. There we go. Looks good. So I'll get the back done and then we'll take one more look at this and then uh, mm -hmm, move on. Alright, just one more quick look around before uh, I shut the door here. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my Batman pools. I think those turned out nice. Go with my decor. And, yeah, and of course the uh, bed frame is now in place, so the mattress should be here, well, should have been here today, but FedEx is running pretty slow due to the lack of American help. Nobody wants to work any longer. So I'm hoping it arrives tomorrow or sometime this week. So. We'll, uh, once that comes in, then we'll get it in place and <laughs> give it a good test run. But yeah, I'm liking that. Let's take a look at it from the back. And the back. So, the back looks a little different. We do have the uh, rounded corners here, square on the front. Uh, I just thought it looked a little nicer and cleaner in the back, so when you opened up the door, it just uh, give it a different look. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let me know what you think. So we're going to call that a quits on this video. Uh, not too glamorous, I know, but uh, a lot to show. So we've got our cabinet pools on, which I'm pretty happy about. Proud of those, actually. Those look really good. And I do have my bed frame. It is now complete. 
uh, got the uh, railing from Ikea on here, which I purchased from Amazon, and uh, half inch plywood all carpeted. They're actually two pieces, one on each side, and then uh, front and rear, uh, front and rear <laughs> railing. So, got those in place and uh, stained up and polyurethane. So, I'm thinking these things look pretty good. I'm looking forward to getting the mattress in and getting that installed. All right. So, in the meantime, probably what I'll be doing is uh, working on this last cabinet here, and once I get that finished and installed. Then we're going to start working on some furniture because we need to get this thing buckled up. Uh, we'll get it all prepped and ready for plumbing and wiring. And then we'll probably, well, I will probably do the wiring last um, throughout the, the cabin here. <coughs> because, well, that's what I do. So, anyway, thank you for watching the video, sticking it out this far, and uh, all the comments and likes and all that good stuff. And appreciate every one of you watching. And, uh, well, you know what I'm going to say. Until next time, stay tuned.